basic design tools that we use. Um, the design tool space is really exploding, and over the last few years, there's just been a plethora of new ways for designers to get work done. And the tool that we've chosen to use primarily for all of our designers at Dribbble is Sketch. And for those of you who aren't designers, the really important thing to know about it is that it's a great tool for designing screens for desktop, for web, and mobile. Um, it has a really rich plugin environment, which developers contribute a lot to, which makes our workflows really customizable. Um, so I'm going to touch on Sketch a few times today as we talk about different processes and tools that we use. But we've decided to use one design tool as a team because it's easier to teach new people as they come onto the team. It's easier to share files, and we can collaborate together uh, when we're using the same tools. So now let's get into the meat of this. And what I'm going to do is walk through each of the concerns that my former employer had about why designers can't re work remotely. And we'll try to offer some solutions to, to those concerns. So the first one, you can't brainstorm effectively if you're not in the same room. So if you're in an office, brainstorming is pretty easy. You can just grab a bunch of people, throw them in a conference room, Everyone can fight for a whiteboard marker and you just sort of let your ideas explode onto the whiteboard. 